he took uh, Hajar to a place when you look at it, it's a complete trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a place that has wajal ghayri zar'an. There's nothing there. And, and so he took him and she asked him as he was leaving, is, is this you or did Allah tell you to do this? He said, no, Allah told me to do this. She said, then I'm radayt. Yani she was content. She raised Ismail there and the, 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 the Arabs that were there, these are the original Arabs, Al-Arab Al-Arba'i. They taught him Arabic. Ibrahim, when he came, they married him because they were very impressed with him. He's a great archer, even the Bible mentions about uh, him. They were very impressed with him as, as, a, as a man. And so despite the fact that it was not their ada, their norm, they married him to one of their uh, daughters. Ibrahim visited from Sham. When he came there, he saw uh, the woman and, and he asked, where's your husband? She said, he's out hunting. And he said, how are things here for you? How are things here? And she said, terrible. They're horrible. And, and the Prophet said in Sahih Bukhari, said, Shakat ilayhi. She complained to him about their conditions. So then he said, when your husband comes back, Give him my salam and tell him to change the the uh, the ataba of his bab. You know, the ataba tababiki, like the when you come into a house, the ataba is the thing before the before the door, the doormat. He said, change that. So then Ismail came back and he noticed Anasa. The hadith says, like he noticed something, and he asked her. What happened today? She said, Sheikh came, Sheikh un kada wa kada. She just said, Sheikh old man came. And uh, he said, Well, what happened? He said, He asked about our Aish and I told him. And then he, he said, Did he, Al Saki Bishay, did he tell you to do anything? He said, He said to give you salam and to say to change the door tress, the trestle of your door. And he said, That was my father. And he told me to, to, to separate from you, so ilhaqi bi ahliki, go and join your family. He divorced her. Why did he do that? Because Ibrahim was going, he made a dua with Ismail when they built the house. Send a messenger from them. And then he said that yu'allimuhum al kitaba wal hikmah. Uh, 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 send them a messenger from them who will recite to them your signs and he will teach them the book and the wisdom and he will purify them because you are Al-Aziz Al-Hakim. So he knew that the source had to be pure. The Prophet ﷺ said, تَخَيِّرُوا uh, مِن نُطَفِكُمْ Like, make sure that the, the one you marry is the right one because you're going to plant seeds. So the earth has to be good earth. So he married another woman from them. Ibrahim came again visiting them. And what did he say? He said, كيف عيشك? Because his Ismail was out hunting. He said, كيف عيشك? She said, oh, we're in blessing. Nothing changed except the understanding, the mentality changed. Nothing changed, same conditions. But the woman, she didn't complain. She said, نحن في نعمة. We're in blessings. في ساعتن. She said the opposite of the other woman. The other woman said, نحن في ضيق. She said, نحن في ساعة. We're in blessing. He said, what food are you eating? She said, اللحم والماء. Meat. And, and, uh, and, and he said, وشربك. He said, she said, water. And he said, اللهم بارك في لحمك. 
وفي مائكي May Allah bless that meat and bless that water The Prophet ﷺ said لم يكن عندهم حظ They didn't have seeds Had they had seeds he would have blessed the seeds All they were eating was meat and water The Prophet ﷺ said ليس لابن آدم حق إلا من هذه الخصال The son of Adam has no rights except for these. بيتون يسكنه وثوب يوارع عورته وجلف الخبز والماء That's the only thing we're entitled to as a, as a, as a human being, as a creation of Allah, is a house that protects you. And for some it's just a tent. Clothes that you cover your nakedness with, and then bread and water. This is basically somebody in prison. That's what a prisoner has. He has a roof over his head, they give him prison outfit, and they give him bread and water in some places. Here they get other things, but traditionally bread and water was what you gave the prisoner. In the Qarawiyin in Fas, where the students studied, they were given a, 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 just one loaf of bread every day and water, as that was their sustenance for like going to college. When you go to college, you get, that's what they got, a loaf of bread and water. And whatever else they had ate was from their own source. So the Prophet said, that's all you deserve. And the humans are feel so entitled to things. This woman was a pure woman, and then she said, when 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 she she also said, Jana Shaykhun Hasanul Hea wa athnat alayhi. She saw Ibrahim. She said, a beautiful Shaykh came to us today, and then she praised him. The other one just said, Shaykhun Kedu wa Keda. Some old man came. This is the difference between world views of how you view the world. And this is what our religion teaches to change your mentality. Change the way you think about things. Change all this entitlement that modern people have. The crisis on this planet is one thing and one thing alone. Human beings are relying on themselves and they're not relying on Allah. They think they can do it on their own. All of the things that are happening right now are because people no longer call on Allah when they have tribulations. Ibn Atayilah says, Al-Faqatu Busuq al-Mawahib Calamities are the spreads of divine gifts. Allah sends calamities to take people back to Him. That's why He sends them. Ibn Atayilah says that Sometimes you will find in calamities what you cannot find in prayer and fasting. Because prayer and fasting always has the possibility of ujub. But when you have a calamity, you know that you're nothing. You know that you're a faqir. And this is why the Prophet ﷺ, a man came to him and said, And he said, he said, I love you. He said, think about what you're saying. He said, I love you. He said it three times. The Prophet ﷺ said, In kunta tuhibuni, lil faqri tijfafan. Then get ready for tribulation. Get ready for things that are going to break you. Subhanallah. Ashadu nas. The people that have the most tribulation in dunya are the prophets and then those like the prophets. But we don't like to think about this. People want ease. This is human nature. People want ease. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before you are confronted with your own life on the Yawm al Qiyamah. To have ma'rifah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So all of these tribulations that Allah sends to this species is for their benefit.